So imagine waking up one morning in Cortez, Colorado. Unfortunate, yes, but these things happen. Odds are you're here because you've run across a picture of the cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde and thought they looked like a fun thing to go see. So you hopped onto a plane, flew out to Denver, rented a car, spent hours and hours driving past places that looked like this. And this. And this. Only to wind up in a place that looks like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Odds are you've discovered you're not nearly as fond of crumbling Anasazi ruins as you thought you'd be. But cheer up. Because there's still one thing Cortez, Colorado has that Telluride never will. Well, three things, technically, if you include humidity-deprived vegetation and palaces manufactured from mud. But that third thing is this. Floyd Johnson's front yard. You know we're not supposed to call them muffler men anymore. Doesn't comply with official Roadside America website terminology. Breaks my heart to say it, but among the roadside attractions crowd, this type of work is now officially referred to as muffler art men. A gross abuse of somebody's editorial authority, if you ask me. The term muffler man itself being reserved for those ridiculous, gigantic, fiberglass Paul Bunyans or Big Texas. Can you imagine? Not even made out of metal and they call them muffler men? Most of the monstrosities aren't even holding a muffler. Muffler in hand or no doesn't matter to those people. But we're not of that ilk. Not cut from the same sort of cloth. These are what you call muffler men. Anyone with a pair of eyes can see that. Don't even need a pair of eyes. A fellow could be blind as a bat and just go around, feel stuff up a little. Mm. Mm. As sculptural mediums go, mufflers have never received the sort of respect that marble or bronze gets. Or even adobe. Or even adobe, if you're into that whole southwesty sort of look. Of course, mufflers haven't been around as long as marble or bronze. Had to invent the automobile first. And the blowtorch. And the blowtorch goes without saying. These things take time. Why, a hundred years ago, people were still arguing over whether or not photography should be considered an art form. It isn't, really. Well, not since the invention of Instagram, but before that, for a while. Regretfully, there are some in the Roadside America community who argue that the whole entire Muffler Man movement is nothing more than a micro subgenre of the much larger art car school of sculpture. Silly sort. I don't see how you can call it an art car subgenre if it doesn't even have wheels. <laughs> The only reason most people ever come to Cortez, Colorado, is to see the cliff dwellings in Mesa Verde. And so they miss the really good stuff. If the National Park Service just had the sense God gave a goose and sprinkled a few Mufferman Indians around here and there. Have you ever seen the ones with the little war bonnets fabricated out of old brake shoes? It would really help spruce the place up. Well, that and a few trees. Trees goes without saying. Hmm. What Floyd has done that nobody else had the vision to do is to take the muffler man out of his native automotive mechanical environment and present the work in a more organic and less greasy setting. It's a study in contrast. A study in contrast, exactly. Floyd Johnson has done for mufflers what Dale Chihuly did for glass. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You're welcome.
You do realize that full sun is not the most flattering light for photographing mufflers? Give the poor boy a break, honey. It's a desert. What can you do? Hmm. Maybe he can doctor it up a little in post. I suppose. The editorial staff at Roadside America is well aware of Mr. and Mrs. Dither's spirited opinions on this subject, but since they are no longer permitted to come within 200 yards of the home office's front entrance, it isn't much of a problem for us anymore. Nobody's accusing anyone of anything, mind you, but... When a fellow wakes up one morning in Cortez, Colorado and goes out and starts his car only to discover the muffler is missing, well, as evidence goes, it's circumstantial at best. Any time the price of scrap metal starts to go up, odd things are going to begin to disappear. You're not exactly Ken Burns, are you? Now, honey, be polite. I just don't think the fellow knows what he's doing. She gets like this sometimes. Where's his crew? Where's his light reflectors? Where's my wireless lavalier mic? Usually it just means her blood sugar is dropping. You are at least going to treat us to lunch, I hope. They have a nice little restaurant over in Mesa Verde. Not much of a view to speak of. Well, it's certainly no telluride, but if you stand out on the balcony, sometimes you can hear large mammals mating off in the gulch. Hmm. I get the feeling my tick spray is starting to wear off. I put some in the glove box, honey. Let me go fetch it for you. Don't step on the rattler. I won't. 